I'm calling Bernie Sanders to ask about the event he just did with the Washington Post, Robert Costa. I hope he's not grumpy. Hello. Robert Costa has all the journalistic integrity of a sick wombat's fecal pap. I've had it with this shitty shit shit. <laughs> I don't even know who the hell's calling me right now, and I'm already I'm fucking fed up to my chrome dome with whomever the hell it is. <laughs> who the hell is this, by the way? I guess I correctly use whomever. So get the fuck out of my face, you goddamn grammar Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bernie. Oh, you again. <laughs> Will no one rid me of this meddlesome podcast? <laughs> I'm on your side, Bernie. If you're on my side, you'd at least donate five clams to my campaign. But I have donated. Please tell me what the hell I'm supposed to do with a don't freak out tote bag. <laughs> I'm not freaking out. <laughs> I'm freaking in. There's a big difference, young man. And happy birthday to your lovely wife, by the way. I think that I can speak for the uh, bottom 90% of American wage earners by saying that you don't deserve her. <laughs> Unacceptable. And you can take that to the bank because I've been on the right side of every major issue all my career. Uh, okay, but what happened with the Robert Costa at that event? In true Jeff Bezos, Washington Post style, he unloaded a quote of mine from 1974, taken out of context, the bonehead. Unlike all the other brain-dead miscreants running against me, i.e. Joe Biden, I actually remember stuff I said decades ago. I even remember the first words I uttered after angrily shooting out of my mother's womb. Unacceptable. <laughs> What did Costa leave out of your quote regarding busing? That quote, the federal government doesn't give a shit about African-Americans. And neither did Joe Biden. He's also a liar about Medicare for all. And the government still doesn't give a shit about black people. Deal with it. We'll get out of my way, you numbskulls. I fucking had it with all the bullshit. <laughs> you really worked up, buddy. Worked up? I've been meditating all day. This is me. Relax. <laughs> you know, about Biden lying, are you referring to him saying this about your Medicare for all plan? He said Medicare for all goes away as you know it. All the Medicare you have is gone. I'll tell you what's gone. His goddamn brain is gone. <laughs> That's what happens when you let your hair plugs grow inward. <laughs> you got a fish or cut bait on that hair club shit. The dream is over, Joe. And don't get me wrong, Joe's a friend of mine. But the top 90% of his hair said goodbye to the remaining 1% long ago. I accept my boldness. Why? Because my hair understands it's not me, but us. <laughs> Where are you off to next, Bertie? An interview on MSNBC well, they'll, where they'll probably pull up some damaging footage of me laughing at Vaughn Meter. <laughs> what the? What the? Hey, we just added St. Louis and Honolulu to our live tour schedule. Go to jimmydoorcomedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our live shows. We might be coming to your town. Go check right now at jimmydoorcomedy.com. And if you like the show and want to support it, become a premium member. You can become a patron or through PayPal or go right to jimmydoorcomedy.com and become a premium member. That's the best way. We'll see you at a live show.